Keyboard shortcuts are great for speeding up your workflow. They can also be helpful if your hands are getting sore from using the mouse a lot. So when you hover over any of the tools that have a shortcut associated with it, you will be able to see in brackets the shortcut associated with it. So when I hover on pen tool, it says P is the shortcut. So if I click P, I now have the pen tool. And the move tool is V, so I can click V. And my object disappeared because I didn't actually select it, but let's create text. And now I'm going to go to V, click away, now go to V. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just going to type a V. And now I'm on the move tool. Now, what if you want to add a shortcut for something that doesn't have one or edit it to something that makes more sense to you? You can go to Affinity Publisher on a Mac and choose Preferences. Find the same menu under Edit if you're on a PC, so Edit Preferences. Under the Preferences, you can go to Keyboard Shortcuts and you will see the shortcuts that you have available there. There are personas in Publisher. You can switch to Designer Persona or Photo Persona. You'll see that they do not have a shortcut currently associated with it. So I'm going to click on Designer Persona because I actually do go back and forth to that once in a while. And I'm going to assign something logical like Command D to that. Now you'll see it gave me a little warning symbol here. That's because Command D is already in use for something else. So I'm just going to clear that. And I've already played around with this and found that Shift 7 was available. So Shift 7 is going to be my Designer Persona shortcut. So I've assigned that. I'm going to close this menu. And now I'm going to hit Shift 7. So watch up here, Shift 7. And you can see it automatically switched me to Designer Persona. So that is how you can edit your own keyboard shortcuts.